Hey, what is up, guys? Nighthawk DBZ here. Welcome back to another Dragon Quest Die A Heroes Bond video. And today I'm going to go over one little thing on Twitter that they just showed uh, about a little while ago, about 18 hours ago, before we get started on today's video. And that is a new uh, weapon that's going to be coming out on the 18th of November. Uh, it's going to be for Princess Leona. So we're going to take a look at the video. And uh, then we'll hop over to the game. So this is the video, this video right here, as you guys can see. It is another like a uh, staff wand uh, that Pope would like use, um, as you guys can see. This will be her own personal attack. So it looks like she kind of gives out some type of like little, um, like little holes, you know, like little detonation areas. And they just explode, which looks pretty cool. I like that. I don't know if I'm going to be summoning on this banner. Probably not. But I just wanted to kind of give you the heads up. All right. So we're going to hop over to the Dragon Quest Die game. And we're going to take a look at all the good stuff that we got over there. So I will see you guys on there. Ooh wee, what is up guys? So we're back over on Dragon Quest Nine: A Hero's Bond, and we got a lot of interesting stuff happening right now. We got a new chapter, we got some new souls, uh, we got a new character, uh, we got all this good stuff. So let's take a look at the announcement real quick. Gonna try to go over the announcement, and then we'll get started on getting the character unlocked. So with that being said, if everything loads, we should be pretty... Pretty all right, unless I'm gonna have to reset my game, which, like I said, hopefully it doesn't come down to that. So, first things first, I'm just gonna kind of talk why this is loaded because it's probably gonna take a little bit. So, we do got chapter six available, and chapter six is where we're gonna unlock the Leona character. Um, and by doing that, you know, obviously, new character in the game, and then we'll take a look at our stats and stuff because I haven't done it yet. Of course, error, something went wrong, you gotta love it, right. You just got to love it. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. All right, so we got the Le Leona introduction campaign. Obviously, stamina drop five, skip tickets, claimable periods from 11 16 to 11 23. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, uh, couple days right there that we can get some cool stuff for. Um, so that's not too bad. Uh, we also have the souls right here that we can get. Uh, if you are summoning for your soul, your little soul bonds, and you're hoping to get something good, like a four star, then you got the uh, Flazer himself and also the Grand Sorcerer. Uh, Flazer, he's a four star. He's skills one ruthless Blizz Blast Commander, raises the user's ice damage max 16% when at skill rank one. And you got Ma, uh, what, I can't even pronounce his name. Matt Metro Riv, I know I'm butchering her, but you know, the old sorcerer that trains Pope. Uh, he is a uh, sworn comrade of Avon. He raises the user's ice damage max 20% when the skill is at rank one. So, this is going to be pretty some um, pretty good souls for uh, ice damage and stuff, especially with the new Pope, uh, with uh, his. Uh, uh, with his weapon that just came out recently. Uh, that's kind of all they got for the announcements. Pretty simple, pretty quick, pretty easy. So let's take a look over at the treasure hunt. Let's take a look at the banner. So this is, you know, obviously you get the free daily or you can pay 300 uh, souls. Just, you know, soul gems to at least get uh, your chances. So we're going to do the free one because why not? You know, maybe we might get lucky and get a four star. Um I think that only happened once with me. I got a four-star. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, we got a Vaughn. It's new. Why not? You know, we're good. And then, you know, just that's all the basic stuff. But I know why you guys are here. I know exactly why you guys are here. You're here for the new story event. Yep. So, today we're going to be doing the new story event, Chapter 6. I'm going to be going through it on beginner difficulty. I'm going to let the episode book play out, and then I'll just skip the other the other sections. Unless, like you said, you guys want to see them, then I'll keep them. If not, I will definitely keep skipping them. We'll just go right to the battle. Uh, we'll be doing this just the beginning stage to at least unlock Princess Leona. 
And if you guys want to see me do uh, intermediate or even advanced, I was kind of waiting to do like an advanced series where I kind of play all these chapters on advanced. Um, uh, so, you know, see how that works. But like I said, for right now, we're just going to do the beginning, unlock Leona, and then, you know, hopefully uh, be able to get her level up within the next couple of days and at least take her out on a run and see how, how well she does. So with that being said, let's start the quest. Actually, you know, I do not have my game up. Hold on. There we go. So at least we can hear some type of music, background music and stuff like that. All right. So Flazer is just like he was in the series. He was pissed off. He starts getting a little too cocky. So he's going to start using Leona as a clutch to, uh, you know, win. But of course, we all know dive for rails and kick some ass. And, of course, we have the Sorcerer here who is going to give him some pretty big helps, especially getting over to the island. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's just a small talk. And then, you know, we just get right over there and then we'll start knocking out some some monsters. Uh, please don't mind my voice. I am I am uh, catching a little bit of a cold here, so just don't mind. Whew. So not bad. So, uh, which we'll call it. Um, so I have been uh, working on Pope. I got him leveled up pretty good. I think he's about level forty or going on to his level fifty. Uh, so I might do a video for him and Dai because they kind of came out roughly like right around the same time. I kind of want to do a video on them and uh, let them kind of do some damage. See how well they do. Maybe it might do like the predation battle because. Uh, you know, that's always going to be around. But sometimes, you know, you just want to take on the top boss. boss. So I think we're going to do that. Uh, going to try to have that video coming out within the next couple of days. I just kind of got to uh, get everything leveled up. I uh, want to also do videos on, like, how to farm different areas. What's it's, like, the best mission to farm different um, uh, level. Like, the you know, like the soul stuff to at least level up your characters. And, uh, unlock those little soul paths. So uh, I do want to get started on that. Like I said, I do want to do a video on advanced difficulty. You know, do chapter one, all advanced, chapter two, all advanced, you know, so forth. You know, see how well we do. And, uh, you know, I think it'll be pretty interesting because a lot of people, especially a lot of players, you know, they are still beginning and they might want to get up to that point because everybody wants to get up to the advance you know then it's like all right it's so one last thing i gotta worry about right now until the new mission comes out all right so episode one is done let's hop into episode two let's see what we got so it looks like fire damage is going to be the best here uh i'm just going to kind of keep my main team actually you know what let's use this team right here because like i said i've been using pulp i've been using uh uh the new die so Let's hop in and let's do some damage. No, I did not summon for uh, Pope's weapon. I'm kind of using that free staff that they give you with the event. I do got to level it up though because I did. I brought all the uh, the rest of those staffs to level up. So we're not going to keep it on auto. I'm going to do the running. I'm going to do the damage. Uh, but like I said, Die he does quite a bit of damage. I know I kind of messed around with him before. Uh, he's done quite a bit of damage, uh, especially with that ultimate, because I love it so much. Alright, all that strikes. Alright, cool. Alright, first boss, Frostburn. Dude, I love the way they do these monsters. I think they did a fantastic job. These stages are going to be easier because since it is beginning, uh, beginner level, I will be able to do a lot more damage. I'm not trying to go for all three stars right now. I'm just kind of going to go for uh, the damage and just beating the bosses so we can at least unlock Leona. I'm pretty sure it's going to be, you know, you finish it all on beginner, you unlock a uh, Pacific uh, Dragon uh bonding quest and that's how you unlock the character 
That's how I'm going to say it, which I believe that's how they did, because that's how they did with any other character. That's how they did it with um, Haikyuu, Crocodile, Avon. So, yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Got a lot of good, juicy stuff. You know, I need all this equipment just to start unlocking characters. All right, episode three, Dark Army, All Out Attack. It's another story, so like I said, I'm going to keep the story part the story portion going. Uh, if you guys, like I said, do want to see, don't want to see this part right here, and you just want to see more of the battle, more of the fighting, 100% understand, and that's exactly what we'll do. Which I'm pretty sure, judging by the little video that we saw the other day, uh, which was yesterday um, with uh, Dai fighting Flazer in that armor. I believe that's going to be the last boss, and we will see how well he does. Oh, well, Hotler's Hotler's back. And, of course, we got a monster. They just call him the monster. Oh, hello. All right, so we got the bomb. Throw it, blow it up, do something. We got a lot of a lot of battles that are going to happen here. All right, so we got the undead, uh, not the undead army, but the uh, that evil wizard guy who I keep forgetting his name. Chapter four: A couple of comrades obviously uh, got two weaknesses here, so it looks like we're Shadow Visor, Visor. All right, so looks like the recommended party is looks like Crocodile and Avon have to be here. So we can't use Popper Mob because obviously they're different characters. So we can do that. At least we can bring Crocodile involved. All right, let's go. As always, want to try to make sure you do as much damage as possible. Do a good amount of damage to at least get all S ranks on each of the uh, battles. We all know that's at least one of the challenges. So if you can do that, then you know you're guaranteed at least a three star. I think we're busting through this uh, these battles pretty quickly, you know, for being on beginner. But once we get up to like the intermediate stage and advanced, it is going to be a little bit more difficult, and it's going to take a lot more time and patience. Which, like I said, I really need to upgrade my characters. That is a very beautiful uh, style how they did the character like that. I honestly cannot wait until they unlock more characters in the game, and at least one get. Oh, I I totally completely messed that up. One thing I really like about this game is they guarantee you each character for free, which is good. You know, you just got to level up, be in a certain part of the mission. You unlock the bonding, uh, the bonding track. And then you unlock the character right off the bat. I'm going to grab those heals. Which, personally, I like. Of course, um... Haikyuu decides to use his ultimate, which is cool. It's all right. No biggie. Let die do some flame action.
But honestly, I think the characters look badass. All the character designs are amazing. Oh, just kind of can't wait. I kind of wish we kind of got uh, Flazer as well uh, with the missions because I believe this is the last final battle with Flazer. Unless they're going to wait till um, Chapter 7. Whenever they do decide to come out with Chapter 7, maybe give us uh, Flazer as an unlockable character. Because um kind of depends on how far we get with this chapter and where it ends at. If it ends with us completely disintegrating Flazer, then we are probably know that we're guaranteed to unlock him Chapter 7. If not, then probably Chapter 7, Chapter 8-ish. You know, we might get a Flazer character. Because we know they're not going to try to release... I mean, lately, what, for like the past past few weeks now, they unlocked three new characters instantly. You got the Rhombus Armor Die, Rhombus Armor uh, Pope, and they unlocked Princess Leona. So... And the only other villain that we fought since then was Flazer. So... We already know we're guaranteed to get Flazer sooner or later, which would be pretty nice, but it's like what kind of what type of weapon would they would you give him? You know, unless they're not gonna unlock a character like him for us right now because he doesn't use a weapon. He kind of uses his hands, you know, he has all those special abilities. But I mean they can still like you still should be able to put like a weapon on Flazer and be like, look, here here you go. You know, flame weapon or a nice weapon, you know, is perfectly fine with him. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Like, how do you think they could do Flazer? If they brought him in the game, they gave us two, they gave us Flazer character. Do you think he would be able to at least hold a weapon? But, not, you know, like not hold a weapon, but he would have to have a weapon a, equipped on him. For battle, I honestly think if they do something like that, he should be able to hold any weapon. Like, he's able to hold any weapon because he's more of a hand-type character. Or if anything, you know, he just mainly just holds, like, a sword. He has, like, you get equipped a sword or an axe on him. And, of course, you know, the armor and all that other good jazz. But, you know, we'll have to see. All right, Zabo era got a lot of a lot of talking, a lot of talking in the beginning quest. I noticed that's why I kind of feel like I should do the beginner quest for anybody who maybe like it's not up there yet and they kind of want to see what they're up against on the story. Which you know, for it being a beginner quest, it's still particularly easy, even though my power is at least. Over 10,000. Like almost 12,000. But. Uh, Alright so we are fighting the next. The next boss. Which is. Uh, uh, Zabor, Zabora. Um, so he shouldn't be too bad. He should be relatively easy. But I think like I said. What's, <laughs> he's going to be a pain in the ass later on. I know I'm kind of rambling. But I just kind of figured you know. Alright. <sighs> next round. So at least, uh, but back to what I was saying about the difficulty, at least you don't, you know, you don't need like a high power level. Like, oh, my power level needs, my power rank needs to be at least over 10,000 just to start chapter six now. You know, as you guys saw, it was like this mission right here, you need at least a requirement of close to like 6,500, you know, which is not too bad. So even if you just start out and you're running beginner rank, you know, and just you start out, you should still be able to level up characters quite a bit, get some new ones on your side, and still be able to do some good damage. Yeah, it took a little bit of damage there. I'm gonna save my ultimate for the end. I rather I like usually saving my ultimate for the end of fight. Unless you know a fight's gonna drag on, then it's like, eh. Yeah, I'll kind of 
bring in the ultimate. Might use it once, might use it twice before we hit the boss, but... I mean, could you just imagine having a full... A full dark army team? Gonna kind of go right into my ultimate. Just start doing some good damage. Oh, he moved, that little bastard. He should have been able to move in the middle of that attack. Kind of almost afraid to use Dai's attack here because I know he's going to move. If I can't move when somebody does that to me, he should have been able to. Well, that's still good damage. I like that. Another member of the Dark Army commanders has fallen. I honestly... One character I'm really excited to see come out for the Dark Army that hopefully we get. Like, I already know the story's going to take time, bef you know, before we get up there. But I am cannot wait to get Baron, Dai's father. And, of course, we get an error. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. So let's get right into Episode 6. We're once again first in the Mystic Bishop. Zabora, so slash fire. He's gonna knock this dude on his ass. So let's get started. All right. So as I was saying before, we were rudely interrupted by the game, um, deciding to say, "Hey, look, I'm not gonna come on right now." Um, we 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 got. I honestly, the one character I'm excited to see to come out is Baron. Guy's father. I honestly would love to see a character like that come out and just with how strong he is in his normal state and how badass he can be in his like dragonoid form. Like, could you imagine like not to go into like the whole how they do with Dragon Ball do combat battle and stuff, but could you just imagine having a normal bar baron? Do his thing, and then has an ultimate attack. Like if you get his sword, he can transform into his dragonoid form and do a gig break and just do so much damage. Like that would be like the ultimate game breaker if they ever did something like that. <laughs> Which I mean, we don't want them to break the game early, but I mean, if they did something like that with Baron. Since he does have a like a uh, bit of a transformation that he does. I mean, I can feel like they can do that with any character, you know. Cause a lot of characters go through like different, you know, I mean I mean you can do two characters, you got Baron, and then you, you know, later on down the road you get a Dragonoid character, but like could you just imagine having a like a like a like give him his normal weapon? Like, you, you get his main weapon, and it's like you just do transform Giga Brain. And if you don't get the blade, let's say hypothetically you don't get the blade, but you got your normal blade, he just does the normal Giga Brain in his normal form. That's something that would be pretty good to see. But I'm pretty sure by then the game would probably be out for like at least six months before you probably see something or longer. Uh, did he move? He did. That little son of a freaking gun, little mystic, little freaking <sighs> dark commander. I gotta try to do so much damage, which that's not gonna work. Can we just like hit him through that rock, please? He's like right there. Can I get a chance? Ooh, chance. There we go. We love to get a break. And it's too late because we already killed him. Alright, well, that was an easy win. Right there. Ooh, ah. Sorry, just had to do a little stretch. Stretch out the old back a little bit. Oh, man, I felt like I was carrying my whole team there. Alright, so we got a bond up for Haikyuu. Very good. Because I want to kind of level up his... I, I got this the normal one level up, but I want to get his armor one level up. 
All right, so back to the whole conversation. We got Handler, you know, uh, just, you know, being Handler, playing mom and Pope. And then, of course, Taikyo comes in. And it's like, you know what? I don't think so. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do a couple fights with him. And then we go back to fighting Flazer. So hopefully it's not too long. So I'm already going to give you guys the heads up. I know we're about 23 minutes in. I believe this video is going to be a little long. Hopefully not too long. But, you know, hey, sometimes the videos are going to get a little crazy. I try to keep them short. But sometimes I just kind of can't help myself because, you know, this game is always fun to play. It's a good time killer, that's for sure. I try to do as much as I can on the game, too, especially to level up my characters. All right, Pope thinks that he's about to lose Bob, but no, the tower falls. Why did the ice tower fall? May you ask? Well, let me just tell you. There's a certain being who is capable of doing such a task. And of course, there he is. Haikyuu, the man, the big bad dark army commander himself, or I should say was, but now is a student of Avon. She's all happy to see him, and Pope's at least getting jealous, y'all, man, Pope. Dude, honestly, I like Haikyuu's armor. I like this armor better than the one with a spear. I mean, it's it's kind of got to grow on to me, though, with the spear, but I love this particular armor and Haikyuu. Kind of wonder where we're going to get our first uh, Hodler character. You know, I I don't think I saw him. I don't. I know he's not in the game, but it's like I kind of wonder where we're going to get our first actual character of him to play as. All right, well, that was an easy 30 uh, slime crystals. Perfect for me. All right. A fiery fighting spirit. Now, as I love how the power just tremendously dropped from 6,000 to 3,000. All right, but chapter 8, episode 8. So we only need our character in Haikyuu because he's the only person that's going to be battling here. That's why the power level did drop. All right. Let's go kick some booty. All right, good damage, good damage. All right, let's switch over to uh, Haikyuu, because why not? There we go. Going to try to save uh, some of the weapons. Look at those. Easy slice. Easy slices. I was kind of hoping to get his blade, but I still haven't got the blade yet. All right, this is going to be an easy kill. A gargoyle. A simple little gargoyle. Just do a couple sword slashes. Why not? Switch over to our character. Get some good lightning damage in. Easy peasy. Let's send it with an ultimate. And then we are good. Beautiful. Some good damage right there. And of course, three star completion. Can't go wrong with that.
Oh, we also got a ticket. Very nice. All right, Heiko versus Heidler. Final battle, Flame and Lightning. And it's us and Heiko once again. We do got the Lightning. We just don't have no Flame, which is cool. It's all right. We don't need the Flame. We'll make do with what we got. All right. Sorry about that. So let's hop in. Oh, we got a little frozen. Oh, I thought we were going to get frozen there. Oh, I should have dodged that. Going for all the good slices. Double ass completion. That's what we like to see. All right. Now it's on for the boss. All right, let's see. Swap back over to our character, and then do some lightning damage on him. Oh, that's right. He does a triple, triple shot. Get a couple step backs. I was very far away from that. That's hacks. There we go, do an ultimate, get the break, and then we can start laying some good damage on him. There we go. Switch over to Heikul. Get a couple good slashes in. Give our ultimate. Beautiful, easy. Not bad, not bad, all right. Since that was the main boss, though, I think that was it for this chapter, which means I believe we get chapter seven, right? I got to upgrade my other souls. I just saw that brass got at least 10. 10 out of 10. All right, episode 10, Unrelenting Spirit. Let that play through, and then we'll see where we're at. All right, get another attack. All right, very nice. Another chapter completed. Got pretty far, not too bad. All right, so episode 11, we got a very long way to go. All right, guys, you know what? I think I'm going to end it there for right now because we did manage to get up to episode 10. I will be coming back with episode 11 and therefore continuing on because I feel like this is going to be a long one. Uh, so we're not close to unlocking Princess Leon yet, but we're getting... I feel like we, we're getting there, 
Probably got a few more uh, chat episodes to unlock first, and then we should be able to unlock her. So with that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, be sure to smash the like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section down below. And yeah, until next time, have a good one. Stay safe. And until the next quest, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Later.